Hey guys, what's up? It's Mercedes Michelle. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be discussing moving to Dallas and areas that you should move to when relocating to Dallas and areas you should probably stay away from. So on my last apartment hunting video that I did for the DFW area, I did get a lot of traffic on that video and a lot of questions and a lot of people asking like what apartment should I move to so I thought that I would come and do this video for you guys so first thing first I've been in Dallas the DFW area should I say because DFW is huge it's you could be on this side of town you could be on this side of town and it's just it's just a large place so I have not lived directly in Dallas in some years because I was young when I lived in actual Dallas like Lancaster I've lived in Pleasant Grove I have lived in Cedar Hill and believe it or not some of Grand Prairie is considered Dallas County so the DFW area, you have Dallas County and you have Tarrant County. So anything on this side of the line is Dallas County. Anything on this side of the line is Tarrant County. So that is just a headache in itself. So you can live in one city, but it could be considered Tarrant County. Or you can live in that same city, but it could be considered Dallas County. Yes. So... Typically when um, looking for areas, for me personally, I don't like to live directly in the city of Dallas. I'm a city girl. I've been here practically my whole life, but I prefer to live on the outskirts in the suburb areas opposed to actually living right in Dallas because you just avoid a lot more traffic. Does the suburb or outskirt areas have traffic yes but as bad as Dallas traffic mm, not really but with everyone moving to Texas it's starting to equal about the same so I like to personally live like on the outer area so like um Arlington Grand Prairie Mansfield Irving Las Colinas I like to live in those areas. Even Cedar Hill can kind of, depending on what side of Cedar Hill you're on, you can still kind of be considered on the outskirts. You're not directly in Dallas, but you're still you're still near Dallas. So if you are looking to live like in Dallas, downtown Dallas, or close to it, safe areas that I would consider is Plano, Richardson, Addison, Louisville, Carrollton, Frisco is not really close, but it's an option. So, with those areas, a lot of people are moving to like the Plano area. It is an up and coming area. It's been growing. Big businesses are moving their companies to that area. So, there's a lot of job opportunity and a lot of growth for millennials who are just looking to get a start in life or start on life so you have the Plano area and with any area I feel like there's a good side and then there's that bad side so if you start to see the prices getting a little more affordable you start to see the houses look a little more run down typically it's not the best area now is Plano bad area comparable to Pleasant Grove's bad area probably not but you have to look into if you have kids the school districts what are their rate in those school districts that will tell you a lot about a community believe it or not the school districts whether you have kids or not it will tell you a lot about the community that you're living in if they have twos and ones and threes or d's e's and f's that may not be an area you want to live in so for me personally i do like to live in those areas where i know it's more family oriented i don't really have to worry about crime but everywhere in today's society you have to worry about crime i don't care if you live in the richest part of the area or the baddest there's crime everywhere and you have to you have to be looking over your shoulder um, you have to watch your surroundings wherever you go, especially as women. You have to carry something with you um, just to protect yourself. Okay. So 
no matter even if i'm naming off these places where i think it's safe or they're rated safe you still have to protect yourself because people come into these areas who don't even live in these areas and commit crime so crime is everywhere but it's better to have like a area that an area that makes you feel safe so gated community um you can look at the crime in that area you can look at the school districts you can look at the um you can just you have to research every area you live in especially if you're single you're by yourself men or women because a lot of men are targeted when it comes to crime so yeah so those areas that i named um outside of plano which is up and coming it's just it's growing so fast you have richardson which is borderline so you could be in plano or you could be in richardson they're like super close so with richardson that is slowly growing it is not at the rate as plano plano is like skyrocketing but richardson also is a nice area it's coming up the housing and apartments are getting expensive in that area because it is up and coming and again businesses large companies are moving to that area so whenever you start to see those large companies come in and build up typically they're building up that area and that is an opportunity for you to get your hands in real estate or whatever you have going on buying a house whatever because the prices are going to skyrocket once everything is where it needs to be so you have plano you have richardson and then you have addison now addison is one of those when i say you can be in a bad part you can be in a bad part and you can be in a good part so you have to just research when the prices start going a little low and you're like this is too good to be true it probably is too good to be true because areas like Plano, Richardson, Addison that is considered Dallas even though they're like the little suburbs of Dallas it is considered Dallas it is a short commute to downtown Dallas so when you think about stuff like that you're gonna pay a good penny to be in a nice area and if you're moving from out of state the prices may not seem like a lot to you because you're getting this luxury apartment you know one bedroom 600 square feet for $1,200 but here in Texas when you're a Texas native you're not used to those prices for a 600 square feet apartment. You don't care how luxurious it is. We are usually used to paying less for more because everything's bigger in Texas, right? So when people come and move to Texas from out of state, they're like, oh my gosh, this is so good. Oh, bomb, bomb, bomb. I'm paying this. And they live in a box and I'm like... You know, uh, I don't know. So it's harder for us Texas natives to get with the program, but we understand that the prices are skyrocketing and either you're going to get in where you fit in or you're not. So, okay yeah. guys, so we discussed some areas that you should live in and just based off of the safety net that they offer to you or your family the school districts are really nice in these areas that i did mention so if you do have kids that is something you may want to consider also the area is just super nice there's things to do around dallas no matter where you are to be honest but these areas allow you to be not really in the middle but not far away from a lot of things that happen in dallas so you'll be able to commute to downtown dallas if you want to go out for a night out with the girls or the boys it's an area where you can all the areas that i mentioned they do have their own little areas that you can go to and hang out at and they're really nice and then of course they do have some areas that are not so nice so that's just something to consider i don't live in dallas i go to these places i actually work in some of these places that i did mention i actually make a commute to these places to go to work it's all about where you want to be in what you see for yourself if you're a millennial you're probably really not looking to settle in and this is your end all be all you're probably just 
here for the moment so probably going to move around a couple of times before you find an area or a place for you and it may not even be Dallas so these places are just a good start if you're just looking to move it's a quick move you haven't done much research you really can't go wrong in those areas I mean you can but it's not going to be as bad as going wrong if you move to like Pleasant Grove or Oak Cliff or Mesquite. Like Mesquite has good areas but they have really bad areas because it's close to Pleasant Grove. Like you could be in Mesquite on this street and end up in Pleasant Grove on the next street. So that is kind of how Dallas works and I'm pretty sure you probably are familiar with that if you live in a certain area that has stuff happening like that like you're in one city but then you end up in another city that's just the way it's mapped out so i would stick to the plano frisco addison uh, i'm not really familiar with addison i do know it has some nice areas i can't tell you where exactly in addison but it does have nice areas and then same for Richardson. Richardson has really nice areas and it has great business opportunities. So if you're moving on a limb, you're going to need a job. That is probably the place you want to consider opposed to somewhere like downtown Dallas. Downtown Dallas is super expensive. You're going to pay for what you get and it's just the experience because they give you the shoebox apartments for $1,500 and that's not worth it to me but for you it may if it fits you and what you have going on do it um especially if you're coming from somewhere like new york or cali and you guys are used to these super expensive apartments and they're small that's probably something you'll be familiar with but texas native i'm not familiar with that i i'm used to getting like 700 square feet 800 square feet 900 square feet a thousand square feet and you gonna tell me i gotta pay twelve hundred dollars for 500 square feet and it may or may not have a separate bedroom I'm not doing that so yeah i did make a blog post on the cities that i believe you guys should move to if you are considering relocating to dallas it is going to be in the description box below. I am going to do a part two to that blog and give you guys some suburb areas that are more so closer to Fort Worth than they are Dallas. So with those areas, that may be for someone who has a family who is already pretty much established in life and looking for a place to settle down and build wealth and grow with their family those are areas that i will do a blog post on for part two but these areas are more for those thriving millennials who are living their best lives and even those with families all these areas that i did mention are very appropriate for either situation so I hope you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up make sure to comment down below if you have any video requests and like i said i will be doing a blog post on places to live in dallas and then i'll do a part two for you guys so stick it out with me and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys